Welcome to this next tutorial. In this tutorial, I'd like to share with you some uh, thoughts on attendance and actually more specific, a bit of a customization that I did. I'd like to share with it with you. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And this might uh, uh, stimulate your thoughts to come up with something that will work for your own setup. Right, let's dive straight into this. Uh, there's my ERP next, and we'll be looking at attendance. All right, so we, I'd like to get to the employee check-in part, but let's take it from the beginning. So we've got a shift type. Uh, I've defined a normal office hours shift type. A couple of settings here. You'll start your end time for the shift. There's your holiday list. And of course, if you want to use auto and attendance which I'll be looking at now. And some of the settings here for auto attendance. Um, there's a, uh, the way that um, it handles the lock type. Under employee checking, there's a lock type that says in or out. That means I'm checking in or checking out. So there's two. There's one that says strictly on lock type or uh, it, it takes the first uh, or, no, this one is alternating uh, in or out. Okay, I'm busy with, or I'm looking at strictly based on log type. So it's strictly based on the log in and log out. And of course, the way the working hours gets calculated, it can only be valid for every check-in and check-out, or if it's the first check-in and the last check-out. All right, so I've got it set like that. There's a couple of set settings here for the check-in that can be done for a certain period before the shift starts, after the shift ends, that you can determine if you want auto attendance to be used on holidays, and here's some threshold settings for half a day and for absent. Uh, and probably the most important is are these two settings, yeah, this is a bit strange, but I've just been playing around with it. That will typically be um, a beginning of a month or something like that. Now, there's lots of documentation on the internet available on this. And I even read a post where somebody suggested that maybe this, um, the description here could have been uh, a little bit modified uh, to be clearer. Uh, nonetheless, um, I found that if the period that you're interested in or you want to do attendance is between these two dates and times. Then you've also got this grace period, which I didn't use. All right, so there's your shift type um, defined and almost similar to your salary structure where you've got a structure and you've got to assign it to an employee. You also now have a shift assignment. So there's my uh, employee and I've got the normal office hours shift assigned to it. If you want to create a new one, you obviously click on that button. Let's have a look at what I've done here. So there's employee one, and uh, I've got the normal hour, office hour shift assigned to it, and it's valid from this date to that date. Okay, and you can also change the status of this. Right, so there's the shift type and the shift assignment. Now, of course, all that needs to be done is to check in. <coughs> There's our employee check-in. Obviously, if you want to create a new one, you click Add Employee Check-in. Now, this field's not generally there. It's a field that I added in. I'll say something about that just now. So typically, if you want to put a terminal at your door, front door, and you want employees to check in, they would click on Employee, select the correct employee, the name would pop up, you would say, okay, well, I'm checking in. And if you're using this field, then you would populate it with that and say, save and submit. All right, so there's a few clicks to be done. Now, it's nothing major, it's handleable. But I thought, okay, well, maybe there's a, one can make it a little bit easier. And yes, sure, you can go and find some information on biometric devices where you just put your finger on a tab um, and that really is that that would be the ultimate um, uh, but many people don't have biometric devices and I was really thinking you know majority if not all that's using ERP next have got a barcode scanner 
So how about using a barcode scanner? So that's where this idea comes from. <clears throat> so I added this field and I'm scanning a QR code that contains some information that links to the employee and whether it is an in log or an out log. All right, um, I'll show you now where how I link it to the employee. So first up I'm going to scan uh, an in code, all right? Um, and then you'll, I'll, sc I'll s scroll the screen up a little bit because there's a pop-up that's not visible now. It's because this is, I'm VNCing into this machine, so the screen sizes aren't the same. But I'll show you just now. All right, so there I'm scanning the uh, in code for a particular employee. It reads the information, saves it, clears the screen, brings up a new fresh screen, and is ready for the next employee. Uh, all right, so I'm going to scan out now. So I'm scanning out. There you can see it fills the out, saves it, and brings up a fresh form for the next person. Let me just drag this down. I'm going to repeat this so you can see what happens. I'm going to scan in again. There it brings up a blue prompt, HRM employee 1. And if I scan out again, it's going to be an orange prompt for HR employee 1. Uh, so, and of course now you can take your QR code your QR codes actually, put them back to back, perhaps the one on a blue piece of paper, the other one on an orange piece of paper, so it makes easier it makes it easier for the guy to see which one to use. And um, they can just scan uh, well yeah, scan the cards or the codes that's perhaps in a key holder um, in front of the with the barcode scanner and clock themselves in. There is a bit of a trick you might have noticed that there it doesn't actually say HRMP1. It's a code. I just want to show you where I get that from. I'm just going to pause the recording for a moment simply because I want to navigate to the user page and I don't want uh, user information to be on the video and I'll show you where I pick up the code and how I link it to the employees. Right, I'm with one of the employees, and of course if you click on any of the users, well actually not an employee, it's a user. Uh, there's a link between a user and an employee, but this is on the user page. You'll scroll right down and then you'll open up the API access uh, drop down. Now this is actually intended for something else. I just thought it's a good idea to use. So you can say generate keys for the user, and it'll generate an API key with a secret. And I actually use that code on the QR code of the card. And then, of course, the script, script picks up the code and fetches the uh, employee information from the database tables and populates that onto the employee check-in. So that's one way of doing it. There's many ways to do it. I'm sure you guys will think of a better way to do it. I just thought instead of having an HRM0001, which is, you know, anybody can have a look at it and actually duplicate the um, QR code for a particular person, now it's a little bit more difficult. Okay. Right, so that's where I pick up the code. Um, one other thing that I've done, um, let me just get there again. On check in, right. What I've also done is um, I'm actually reading a code from the scanner itself and populating this field. Um, so you can use that as a location ID. Currently I'm not really using it. I just thought, okay, well, while I'm busy, put it in. Maybe there's some use for it at a later stage. And of course, needless to say, you can also, um, where's attendance, you can also do your um, manual attendance by using the employee attendance tool and you select well obviously you'll have more than one employee here uh, you'll 
um, click on there and you'll say okay present absent half day work from home and for which shift was that valid and of course mark the attendance so that's how you'll do it manually and if you go and look at the um, the attendance record then what I did is on the 3rd of the 8th uh, okay there'll be some entries now for the 7th of the 8th uh, on the 3rd of the 8th I actually had a number of entries let's just go back to the check-in okay there's a whole bunch that I've did now just for the demo but well let's just get rid of those then uh, no actually it's done in, in attendance let's just leave it like that all right so these we're all on the third okay so you'll see in out in out in out and it adds all of them to get together all the times based on your settings and it'll create an attendance record for the third of the eighth for employee number one and it'll say say there 1.7 hours um, attended okay uh, that's the shift it was present and the employee name and there's the attendance date and of course the company um, let's just have a look here okay so we started quarter past three and quarter past four was one hour yeah it's about 1.7 hours if you look at the start end time versus the start time okay and you also have I just need to move down again your monthly attendance sheet and there you can see for the third and the th third and the seventh um, this employee was marked present right okay that's uh, the or oh, that's what I wanted to share with you a bit of customization which I did on uh, the attendance and I'm sure it's going to stimulate your thoughts to do a better one than I've done but I thought you know let's use our barcode scanners and make it just a little bit easier uh, for people to clock into the company hope you found that useful